of a Plainfield woman who disappeared in 1978 has never been solved. A friend of Mary Higginbotham has taken a keen interest in keeping this investigation going more than for more than 40 years now. Our Rich Nye was with the family today when they received a very special gift to remember Mary Ann. Donna McIntyre was a classmate of Mary Ann Higginbotham at Plainfield High School. This is Mary Ann's senior picture. This is a portrait of what Marianne might look like if she were still alive. A gift to Marianne's 87-year-old mother. Thank you, God, she didn't do that. I hope that it gives Miss Higginbotham some peace to know that Marianne's memory still lives on. Marianne was last seen in June 1978. She was 20 years old. How often do you think about your daughter? Every day. I talk to her picture. The picture that sits on Norma's nightstand. She says her daughter was smart, a great artist, but her boyfriend got her killed. Tim Willoughby was allegedly involved in a car theft ring. The guy she's with, they've never found. He was in over 50 pages of trouble in less than a year. He was always getting in trouble. Marianne's body was discovered June 5th, 1979, inside a 55 gallon drum in the White Lick Creek in Mooresville. An autopsy revealed that she had been shot in the head. An informant told police that the drum was dumped in a gravel pit upstream. Two men were arrested in 1983, but the charges were dismissed. The family still hopes for justice. Uh, I can remember her, uh, just how great she was at art, and she just always, her and always just had such beautiful hair. This is really good. It's going to be 44 years in June that the Higginbotham family has you know, dealt with the nightmare. They need some kind of justice. They need to be able to be at peace. Donna has become an advocate for missing persons and unsolved cases. She hopes this portrait will bring new interest in Mary Ann's murder and comfort to the family. Thank you, sweetie. You're oh, welcome. You got cold cheeks. I know. You know, so I...